flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. Mondine Polaris this is Ponderosa's room. There's a manhole nearby that's your quickest way back to the safe house. Have a gander. Sometimes retreat is your best option. Careful with that stuff. Use it to set mine traps, but don't blow yourself up. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with me and Ron for arguing with you at the last meeting, but I hope you can see that we're just advocating a better safe than sorry approach. It's like global warming. If we're wrong, well, at least we tried to make the world a better place and no harm done. But if we're right and we don't act quickly, we're putting the whole planet in danger. I wish you could see that. We're not trying to shut you out or shout you down like you suggested. I know you said those things in the heat of the moment, but even if you didn't mean them, they hurt. Your experience is invaluable to us. That's why I was asked to recruit you in the first place. But we're not children, and we do understand your point of view. We just disagree. The Council has asked me to suggest you take some time off from the meetings, because they don't feel you're being productive right now. I'm not going to do that because I still love you, and know how much being excluded from the Council would frustrate you. But I agree this fatalist agenda isn't productive. 
I'm about to leave for Clermont-Ferrand to see what I can dig up in their library about the physici, as discussed at the last meeting. But I'll be back in time for bonfire night, so I'll call you and we can go up to Ali Pali for the display. It's been too long since we spent an evening together, and I'm sorry about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 